Cody, you're killing me. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John for Project Ellsworth, and I am back with you today to give you my review of the 1980 film, Hell of the Living Dead. Happy Monday, everybody. If you're new to my channel, remember to click that subscribe button. I do a couple of these things every week. Hell of the Living Dead was written by Bruno Mattai. It was directed by Claudio Fagrazzo and Jose Maria Conillas, starring Margie Newton, Franco Garofalo, and Ceylon Carey. Experimental project operation Sweet Death must be considered a complete failure. All these high-powered installations, like a factory from a future world, safely hidden. So our story begins in a chemical research facility where two dudes find a dead rat. One dude picks up the dead rat, that rat ain't so dead, and kills him. Uh, he basically stands there and lets this rat kill him. And after the rat kills him, he gets up and kills the other dude, and then those two dudes start killing everybody. And so it begins. Next, we are in Barcelona, where the military is trying to rescue hostages who are being held by some sort of terrorists who are trying to get these chemical research facilities shut down. Next, those same military dudes wind up in New Guinea, where they run into a journalist and her cameraman who are there investigating uh, problems with the local townspeople. And that's about it. I'm not gonna give you any more details about this movie, and trust me, you don't want them anyway. This movie is all over the place. I watched this horrible thing, and I don't even know what held it together. It felt like this movie was about uh, 14 and a half hours long. I, it literally took me four different times of watching this movie to make it through this steaming pile of mongoose shit. I, look, I'll give credit where credit's due. I haven't made a zombie movie. I don't have a movie right now currently airing on Amazon Prime. Um, I, haven't, I don't have any movie that other people can review, but these guys do. But I do have a YouTube channel where I do gloves off movie reviews, and this movie sucks. The rat scene that opened this movie was a very in good indication as to what this movie was going to be, and it honestly never got any better. I mean, this dude picks up a dead rat, the rat is just hanging there, and you can see his whiskers moving, so he clearly is not dead right off the bat. And then the rat starts to move around, the camera goes away, the camera comes back, and the guy is just literally standing there like this, with a rat crawl up his under his helmet or whatever the hell that thing is, and he's just standing there. He's just standing there doing this. His other guy is just standing there looking at him, not doing anything about it. This guy's got so much blood pouring out from underneath of that helmet or mask or whatever the hell that thing was that it looks like somebody put a corpse in a meat grinder underneath of there. Then the next thing you see, <coughs> that got, pardon me, no, no corona. That guy kills the other guy, and then those guys, you see them eating another, a third dude is laying on the ground, his uniform is ripped open, and there's two guys very slowly eating him, and as they're eating him, you see them pull a piece of meat off of him to expose a guy's naked, hairy chest underneath. So, not only are the effects bad, they're basically non-existent. That scene was just a dude laying on a floor with like cold cuts on top of him. Oh, uh, before I forget, when they were just coming upon this rat, when they were sensing some sort of in, uh, uh, infection in the facility, they were talking, they were using a meter to measure the level of infection in the facility. And they literally were holding a meter with a dial on it. And they were on camera, turning the dial and turning the meter up saying the meter is off the charts. They're literally turning the dial. You can see them turning the dial, talking about the meter is going off the charts. If you have operation of, or of the function of the meter, you can make any meter go off the charts. This was stupid. And then there's the journalist that they meet up with over in the jungle. She's the token good looking chick that are, that, that's in most Italian zombie movies, uh, most of which are better than this one, but I digress. So this chick, when they come across 
what appears to be like a cannibalistic tribe in the middle of the jungle in New Guinea. She, they've never been there. They have no experience with these people. She gets out of the Jeep, rips open her blouse, strips down buck naked, paints her body. I don't know where, uh, she's apparently just keeps war paint with her in her purse, paints her body and just goes off into the woods to hang out with this cannibalistic tribe and turns around and looks back at the guy she's with, the military dudes, and says, I'm going in, come and join me in an hour. What? Uh, and there's a whole lot of this. <laughs> the acting is terrible. The writing is terrible. The directing is terrible. The effects are terrible or non-existent. This movie is terrible in any, the pacing is terrible. The story is illogical. It's all nonsensical. They jump from place to place to place and you're wondering what in the hell is going on. It's, it, I literally turned this thing off a couple times and fell asleep a couple times. If you want to watch a, a dog shit movie, this one's right up your alley. Uh, there's another scene with some pretty awful meat effects. One of the cannibal guys, somebody's running by this dude who's leaning over or laying on the ground. I don't remember what the hell he was doing. <coughs> somebody's running by him full sprint then he grabs him by the ankle and by the knee and starts to eat his leg. And you can clearly see that this guy is holding a piece of meat on the back of this guy's knee and on the back of this guy's ankle and is just pulling meat off of this guy. It's not, they're not, it's, all, it's like they're not even trying to hide that they don't have special effects. And killing the zombies in this movie. This is the most inexperienced, incompetent, incapable of taking direction group of military guys you'll ever see in your life. There's one bozo goofball military dude who after shooting the zombies about 80 times in the torso realizes that if you shoot him in the head that takes him down. He turns around tells all of the other guys there shoot them in the head. If you shoot him in the body you're wasting your ammunition. Now I can't even talk I'm so mad at this movie. So this guy tells them to shoot him in the head. Then that guy doesn't shoot him in the head. Then none of the other guys shoot him in the head. They eventually shoot him in the head, but they gotta unload about a dozen shots into the torso of every zombie in sight before they shoot the one shot in the head. There's literally a scene where the, the naked journalist chick who now has her goddamn clothes back on is being pulled backwards through a window by uh, six or eight of those cannibal zombie looking things <clears throat> and another military dude comes uh, comes running into the room holding a rifle and he's looking at the zombies and then he's just standing there talking to himself oh, God damn zombies he's talking to himself then he runs over to help her holds he doesn't shoot him he holds up the gun and gives it to him it's ridiculous then that same guy, later on in the movie, is stuck in the middle of about, I don't know, half a dozen zombies that are surrounding him. He's holding a rifle, and he does not even fire that rifle. He takes it and starts swinging at him like a baseball bat. This is the most poorly directed, horribly thought out zombie movie that I, maybe that I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> Deep breaths, John. Armed military who don't know how or want to apparently shoot zombies. This is like a really shitty combo of a, it starts off sci-fi, then it, it, it's like cannibal, cannibal movie, oh my God, it's not cannibal holocaust. Shitty, shitty sci-fi movie, cannibal movie, zombie movie. None of which is done well in any way whatsoever. The Hell of the Living Dead, 1980. This movie was frustrating. It was incredibly difficult to watch. And under no circumstance do I suggest that you watch this movie. Have you seen this flick? Or should I say this unfortunate waste of 90 minutes of your life? Did you make it all the way through it? How many times did you have to watch it to make it all the way through it? Leave me some comments down below and let's talk about it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day and thank you for watching.